Hello and welcome back to another video and in this week's video we are doing a video on the Car Porter MK2 Barrow and personally I think this is the best barrow you can get on the market no matter what price you're looking for unless you want to get like an electric barrow I'll definitely go for this it's lightweight it's good it falls down to basically nothing and it's quite cheap so let's get into all the cool features of it so first of all cool feature it comes with this really cool bag that goes in the bottom of it and it's a good size it clips on it goes nice and sturdy but let's first of all let's show you how small it can get compact down and show you what it compacts to at the end so actually it's not fully compact down here i can unscrew the wheel by just unscrewing these two things here and pulling it off and that is how small it goes so you've got the bag you've got the arms the t-bar and the wheel and there it is this is a bit heavy it's uh, not easy to walk around with it's probably about 15 kilos say probably about 15 kilo so let's put it together and show you what it looks like when it's fully up so you also get some bungees with it and i haven't got it on me but you get spare bearings for your wheels you get lots and lots of spare you get loads of spares one of these which are really useful and little caps on the corners you get lots of spare of them but yeah you also get bungee cords as you can see here i use this to keep my legs folded on downwards because my legs do get in the way and swing about so these bungees which you strap yourself down with when it's fully up fold these two up here super easy put it on the side click the legs into place by a little pulley system there pop the wheel on pop the wheel on and then you can see the main shape of the barrow and then also stick the arms on as you see mk2 the mk2 car porter barrow this is called the link for this will be down in the description a link to angling direct i don't benefit from it i'm just showing you the best place and where i personally got mine from and it's a reliable place and i definitely recommend getting your kit from there so you've got the arms on as well super easy as you can see this is not taking me long to put up and then also to finish it off an awesome t-bar which this was the main thing i was looking for when i was looking to buy a barrow i wanted one of these t-bars because they're really useful so yeah these t-bars are really really useful for putting your rods across your baby across and they're really really good in general and as you see that's basically the full barrow done apart from the cart bag and as you can see there's a padded area here so if you get splashed up by mud from the wheel it doesn't affect it but there's little slots it slides into hit it down rock solid not getting anywhere the lead for it zip it up and there you go this barrel looks absolutely awesome and it's about 130 quid which i've not mentioned already and if you also want a trolley but you don't know if you should have a barrow or a trolley you can always get a barrow and then if you don't like the barrow you can get attachments to make this barrow to turn to a trolley which i really think is cool so these back legs here you can unscrew the little pads at the bottom and pull extra wheels on that you buy from Angling Direct. I think it's about 50 quid to transform it to a trolley, which is probably cheaper than buying a trolley itself anyway for this size of barrow. And another awesome feature that I'll show you now. Another awesome feature is these. this barrow is currently fully extended to as big as it goes. And as you can see here, you can make it smaller and then it's easier when you're packing away. Or you can even bring it out to this far. As you see, it's got rusty there from when I leave it out at night when i'm fishing but i've had this for over a year now so it's doing good and i see make it a lot smaller by screwing this in it was at the max size because i did just do an overnight session and i need it to be the max size to fit my bed chair in nicely so let's put it down to the smallest size now and show you like that so yeah as i'm saying if you gain on a day session or a 24 hour 48 hour 72 hour this barrow can do it because as i say it goes so much smaller and then even even this side gets small enough you can make this side small as well and there is little hoops here for the bungees and there you go there is the barrow but i've i've only used it this size once when i'm going to a quick day session and usually i don't even use the bag to be honest but you fold these down super easily if you don't want the sides for some reason you can fold down but you need to fold these ones first fold down all nicely it's really nice and you could probably fit it in a van 
like this as well to be honest and I have used this barrow a lot and you've seen the barrow and you've seen the barrow fully set up now so let me show you a few clips of me when I'm at fishing and I'm walking my barrow around and have a look have a look how much stuff I fit on and how I use it so head over to that now and have a look it's on the screen now So many people have asked for this video, loads of people keep asking about the barrow that I use and personally yeah, I do think it's the best barrow on the market. So if you're on the market for a barrow, I would highly recommend this one. Not because I have it and I've tried other barrows, uh, Rob, my mate Rob, he has a barrow uh, similar to this one. It's It was a bit cheaper but I would have preferred to spend the extra 50 quid to get this one because it is really good. Lightweight, easy fit in my dad's car, it can fit all my stuff in my dad's car and it just makes it a lot easier for me because it falls down to literally nothing and then I always put it in last in the car so I can get it out first, put it together, chuck everything on, nice and easy, go off, do my 24 hour session, pack up, real easy, jobs all It's really really flexible for different conditions. As you can see here there isn't mud tracks on the wheels, it is grippy on its own, I went in snow with this, minus 5 degree heat when it's snowing loads walking up to a lake that I live by and these wheels did me fine but you can also get like a monster truck tire wheels and the treads on them are huge like literally sticking out this much which is good i would have them on if i wanted to spend extra money but personally i don't think it's worth the money to spend i could buy something more more useful for me fishing and as i mentioned earlier you can get the adapters for the wheels on the back which i'll put a picture on the screen now because they are really cool so they are on angling direct and i'll also put the price of them up on the screen so i'm not too sure and you can also get a different bar attachments because when you're using a trolley you want to push it and the bars need to be a bit higher than these ones so i'll put that attachment on the screen as well now and i'll play you some little videos of just the barrow in use just being used being chucked around and how much it's actually went through so i've had this barrow over a year now i got it when i first started cart fishing i've been cart fishing for about two and a half maybe three years now so it's had a lot of use about one i bet it's coming up to two years since i had it because i had it two christmases ago so yeah coming up to two years and it's holding me strong as you can see in the actual joints where it goes in it does get a bit of rust a bit where it's held water when i do a night session it starts raining and i leave this outside uh, you can also get wraps to go over these to protect them from rusting so if you get a barrow and you don't want it to rust at all it won't rust as long as you just get a cover i think nash do one i'm sure it's about 10 15 quid super easy you just chuck that over your barrow when you're chilling in getting the rod sounds and it keeps you protected well and then you can also use that to put over your stuff so if you're walking in the rain uh, with your barrow and you don't want or you could get wet you chuck that over nice and easy but yeah this is an awesome barrow and i would highly recommend it to anyone who's starting cart fishing or even been caught fishing for many years and they're just looking for an upgrade for a barrow if theirs is not as good as this one uh, but if you are looking for more of a high range price of a barrow i don't know why it will because this does the trick perfectly if you're looking for like an electric one then obviously your price range is very high so there might be better ones on the market but if you're looking for about 100 to 200 quid for a barrow i would definitely go for this one and as you say it's lightweight just do curls with it all day long while you're fishing getting the weights in and it's easy pop it down nice and fast and i'll time me now actually how long it takes me to get it completely flat with everything off i'll do it as fast as i can so start the timer in the bottom right corner in three two one go As you can see, all down, everything down. You literally chuck everything in one by one into your car now. And there you go. It is so good and I couldn't recommend it enough. And if you're wondering why there's not many fishing videos out at the moment, 
I am trying. I keep game fishing. I've been game fishing every single weekend without a fail. Probably about six weeks on the road now. And since I went fishing and did the uh, Instagram controls my fishing video, I haven't caught since then. I just keep blanking after blank. I've Basically, the lake that I fish, Morton Fisheries, has been ridiculously pressured at the moment. And every time I go, there's two pegs that I like, and I can't get any of them any time. So it already knocks my confidence as I get there because I love them pegs and I know 100% I can catch from them pegs. So we haven't had them pegs for about four weeks now. And it is a bit annoying, but this week I'm hoping I can get them pegs. And I'm going to start fishing in the week so I can actually get there when no one's there and it'll be less pressured and the fish will be the guards will be down because they used to be pressured on the weekend because every weekend there's about 30 pegs at this lake every single peg is full with ounce of fail i'm going to start fishing more often and fingers crossed i can pump out some fishing videos and maybe i might be working on another pond in the background i know i've done another pond before but that was at my mum's house and if you don't know already i did i dug a big pond in my dad's, dad's garden like a huge pond and if you want to find out about that, stay tuned on the channel because I'm going to explain what happened to that and what my new plans are with that pond coming up in the future. So, if you want to get this barrier, the link will be down below and so will a few attachments just in case you want to get them as well. So thanks very much for watching this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm going to try my best to get more fishing content out, more just content with me in instead of just reviews. But reviews are good videos that some people are looking for on the internet and everyone do enjoy them still. So... Fingers crossed I'll get a lot more videos out coming up very soon, so stay tuned. And make sure you go down below, subscribe, and it really helps me out. Go down below and subscribe. If you want to help out the channel at all, if you're watching this video premiere, there is a super chat option in the live chat. If you want to send any super chats, it does help me out as a content creator very much so, and it helps me pump out better content for you guys. So if you want to support me, go over there and check it out. And if you didn't watch this one on a premiere, all of our videos are on a premiere at 12 o'clock on every Saturday. So... Thanks for watching this week's video and I'll see you next Saturday.